right outside Zion National Park and getting ready to set out on a four to five week trek to Green River, Utah. Day three, day six, day nine, day 12, day 15, day 18, day 21, day 24. Morning of day 27. Day 28. After turning off the camera last night, I was looking at some maps and I realized there was this other crack up the canyon that I forgot to investigate. So I went to check it out. You can see it up there behind me. And that's it right up there. Unfortunately, it ends in this big dry fall right there. But then I noticed that this bench goes across and I followed the bench all the way around and you could actually walk up it to get on top of the dry fall. And then I was able to look up the crack. And I think it might just go to the top. So that's our new plan A. We are gonna go investigate the crack and see if we can get to the canyon's rim and then we can get across the mesa, hopefully. If not, I have devised a plan B, which is the long way around. So I really, really don't like it, but uh, let's go see how this goes. The bugs are really bugging me this year. It seems worse than normal out here. I have just a cloud of little black gnats that follow me around. It's just, it's terrible. And the no CMs are bad. So I don't know. I don't like them. My legs are all torn up, just chewed up. I keep scratching them. So, you know, I don't like the bugs. I mean, this is not quite Sierra level, but it's, it's pretty bad. I've heard people complain about the bugs in Utah, and I always thought, wow, what are you talking about? But uh, yeah, this is a bad year, especially in Capitol Reef. I don't know what it is, but yeah, for the last week or so, they've been crazy. I, I know you won't be able to see these, but there's probably a hundred. If I just clap my hands in the air, I'll kill two or three. Okay, anyway, enough complaining. Time to get to hiking and time to get happy. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm up the bench on top of the dry fall and looking right up the crack. This first bit of boulders looks like the hardest part, actually. So we'll see, see if we can get past it. All right, so I went ahead and scouted ahead without the big pack and climbed way up there. I think it's doable. I think we're gonna make it happen. It's a few tricky spots. I'm going to have to lift the pack up a few times, but nothing too sketchy. Whew, I love it. Looking back on where we camped last night, way down there by the spring. Okay, let's suit up and get back into action. Alright. This is tough work. <laughs> it's exhausting. Getting this big bag over each of these sets of boulders is tough. It's fairly easier from here. And there's one more pitch I'm gonna have to get up than a lot of boulders at the top. I hope if future hikers use this route, they call it Jamal's Crack. Because <laughs> yes, I do have a third grader's humor. All right, uh, let's keep it going. Okay, nearing what I believe to be the top. Those boulders right up there. And just when I'm feeling like a awesome explore, a rock marker. <laughs> just goes to show, wherever you go, someone's already been there. Oh well. Doesn't make it any less fun. All right, let's get to the top. Yay! Ah, oh, it feels so good to climb out of that canyon. Get back into Boulder Mountain now. 
think that's the Capitol Dome over there. I mean, we're not really all the way up. I have a little bit more. But now the ground's a lot more level. There's some up and down and some cliffs to work around, but I think we're in much better shape now. The only problem, the, the quest is not over. I still have to find my way over to an old road, and there's one more major cliff band. No problem. All right, let's go. On the edge of the canyon that I was scouting last night. It's a big guy. the boulders I was climbing up. We're going to round the top and maybe we'll see if it would have been possible to get up. Whew. Just when I'm happy and think I'm on top, there's another cliff band. Okay, let's find a way up or around. Wow, the wind is picking up. Okay, now that I'm up on semi-flat ground, my goal is to contour around that, and then finally over and over the hump, over the ridge. Finally made it up to this spire, which is the high point of the ridge, and I can finally see to the north, which is amazing. See the rest of the water pocket fold? Still some pretty rough country out there. Back over this way, you can see Factory Butte, way out there. But I'm still headed northwest for now. My next big obstacle is to get around what I'm calling Horseshoe Dome out there. I'm gonna try to skirt it to the left. Hey, there's an arch out there. Check that out. I've never seen that noted anywhere. That's cool. We may have to go get a closer look at that. En route to check out the arch, I found this little baby arch. Looks like it's broken too. Got a crack in the middle. Okay, I've climbed up to the arch. Gotta warn you though, it's like a wind tunnel. Here we go, check this out. Climbing up through these fins, trying to get to the next level of rock. So far it's been a tedious task. Yay, finally up through the pine tree gully. And we're almost to the top.
finally rounding, again, what I call a horseshoe dome, just because it kind of looks like a horseshoe on a map, and seeing what I feared might be true, which is getting down could be hard. I marked it as a problem spot in my research that this western side looked very cliffy. So we'll see. A uh, lower route might have been better, but uh, we'll see. We're going to go up around the bend that way and hopefully find a way down. Here we go. There's a uh, volcanic dike running through the landscape here. It's actually going to help me get down off these cliffs. Day 28, taking a break under this little tiny arch. It's funny, I spotted this from way up on the cliffside, and I thought it had to be an optical illusion that there was just an orange rock in front of a bigger rock, but it looked like an arch, so anyway, I headed this way, and sure enough, it's an arch with the sun shining through. slow go today. Pretty rough terrain and these cliffs I'm having to scout a lot of it so I'll drop my backpack, walk ahead a few hundred feet just to make sure it's doable with the pack, go back at the pack, continue. And yeah definitely some route finding issues. But making progress slowly but surely so uh, still want to get to that old road. That's my real goal. I think I have a drinking problem. <laughs> and by that I mean I drink too much water. I, uh, they suggest a gallon a day when you're hiking in the desert. I think I could easily drink two gallons a day, including what I use at camp. It's just I'm insatiable and I like to stay very, very hydrated. That's why it makes these dry sections so tough. Because I do try to carry a little bit extra, but then also, you know, I do have to ration. And I don't like it. That's why I like hiking by streams or rivers so much. But uh, anyway, I will survive. All right, that's a report for now. Check out that cool spire. Pretty awesome. Okay, one last challenge before the road. We have to figure out how to get across this canyon and over that little saddle. This broken glass jar is the first piece of trash I've seen in all of Capitol Reef National Park. I've been really impressed with how clean and litter free it's been. I guess depending on the age of that, you could call it a uh, historic trash, but I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Maybe I'm just hungry, but that looks like an ice cream cone to me. And three hamburgers. Mm. Oh wow, another arch. I wish I had time to go check that one out, but that's too far off route. Yay! I've made it to the road! Actually, I don't see any road yet, but see this vague pillar, which I know is means that this is an old drilling site and probably the purpose of the road. I say road, but it really hasn't been used in, what, 40 or 50 years, probably? So I should still find the remnants of the road. Here somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> I'll find it. Walking the old road. Yep, walking the old road. Moving much faster now. Now that I'm on an old road. Da -da -da. Looking 
down to a pretty cool landscape. probably too dark for this but check out this campsite love it talk about a room with a view okay time for some dinner and some sleep Yeah. 